Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is my very first YouTube video, so I hope you enjoy it. For my first video, I'm going to show you how to make a professional looking hardcover sketchbook using a Japanese style binding technique. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a list of the materials that you'll need. You're going to need some sketch paper. I just use some out of this Strathmore sketchbook, some mat board, a cutting board, some decorative paper, some solid colored paper for your inner cover, a pencil, scissors, a ruler, an X-Acto knife, some liquid and stick glue, a hole puncher and an eyelet setter. This tool here is called the Cropodile and it actually has both. And of course we'll need some eyelets, some hemp cord, and a needle. And that's about it, so let's get started. So before you begin, make sure you know what size you want your sketchbook to be. Mine is going to be an 8x10. So first I'm going to cut this mat board in half. And this step is optional because I have a small cutting board. So if you have a bigger cutting board, you don't have to do this part, but I would still recommend cutting your mat board in half to make it easier for those who have smaller cutting boards. So I'm going to draw a line right down the middle and trace over it with an X-Acto knife. So this is going to be an 8x10, so cut your mat board 8 inches wide and 10 inches long and make sure you have two pieces. Then we're gonna cut exactly one inch off the end of both pieces. Now we're gonna cut our filler paper and it can be as thick as you want it to be. However, if it's really, really thick, you might wanna cut it in sections. We're going to cut it about 8 by 10 inches, except we're going to cut an eighth of an inch less than 10 and an eighth less than 8. That way none of the paper can poke out from between your book covers. So now we're going to make our book covers and I have this swirly metallic decorative paper here. going to flip that over. And using our glue sticks, we're going to apply glue all over this bigger piece of mat board. And make sure you apply it on the side that isn't textured. So just place it on the back of your decorative paper and kind of press on it a little to make sure it adheres properly and also smooth out the front to get out any bubbles or wrinkles. Then we'll take that little strip we cut off earlier and glue it about an eighth of an inch above that bigger piece of mat board. Those strips will make up the spine of the book and that tiny space will be the crease. We want about an inch of paper around each side of the cover, so we're going to cut off some of that excess paper. It looks like I already have about an inch on the bottom, so I'm just going to cut from the sides. I'm going to mark a line where I want to cut, then take it to the cutting board and cut right along that line. Using scissors, cut off the two bottom corners as evenly as you can. Now the top part can be slightly tricky. We're going to bend this over and make a crease. And about an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the mat board, we'll cut a little slit all the way up to the crease. Then we're going to cut that corner off just like that. Then go ahead and crease the other three sides. Then using a glue stick, we'll glue these flaps down. 
Now since we have that tiny space near the top, I usually like to take the lid of my glue stick and using that rounded edge, I kind of press the paper into the crease a little bit. Then I go and find where that crease is in the front, and I use a rounded edge to make that crease more visible. Now repeat this process one more time to make your second book cover. Now for the inner cover, I'm using this black paper here, and what we're going to do is place the paper on the back of the cover so it covers all the mat board. Then draw a line on the paper about an eighth of an inch away from the inner edge of the decorative paper, and do this on all sides except the top. At the top, you want the paper to be closer to the outermost edge, but it's okay to trim it a little. Then go ahead and cut along those lines using your cutting board. Using a glue stick, apply a thin layer of glue to the back of the inner cover paper. Place it on the back of your cover and make sure all the mat board is covered. Go along that crease with a rounded edge and repeat this process with the other cover. Next, about a fourth of an inch above the crease, mark a tiny dot near the one inch mark of your ruler. Then about an eighth of an inch from the top edge of the cover, make a dot at two inches. Continue this pattern to the other side. Your dots should be in a zigzag pattern, each dot one inch apart. So I'm going to use my crop a dial to punch the holes. Um, it even has this little measurement thing here so you can measure where to punch your holes at. And we're just going to punch holes wherever the dots are. Now we're going to punch holes into our filler paper. Make sure it's stacked nice and even. Place a book cover on top and use your pencil to trace circles or mark dots onto the paper through the holes. Then take a section of your paper and begin punching holes on the marked areas.
Then lay that first section back on top of your stack of paper and trace circles or dots through the holes onto the next section. Continue this process in layers and until all the paper has been hole punched. This process will help make all the holes line up evenly. So now we're going to add some eyelets and I'm going to use the crop a dial again because it has an eyelet setting feature at the end of it here. So this is the top and this is the bottom and that's how we'll hold it when we punch in those eyelets. So we'll put an eyelet in this first hole here, then hold the eyelet setter like that, and punch. And that's what it looks like on the back. And that's all you gotta do. So continue this process until all the holes have eyelets. Using a flat surface, gently score all the corners of the book cover so they won't be sharp and pointy. Then gently bend back the spine to make that crease more flexible when you open the book. Now it's time to assemble the sketchbook. This is the fun part. So just stack that filler paper nice and even and put it between the covers making a sandwich and just grab a needle and some hip cord and let's get started with the stitching process. So let's start by putting the needle through the second hole and just pull it through leaving a tail of thread here. Then pull the needle and thread over the top and back through the same hole. Then move over to the next hole and repeat that same process. Pull it through, go over and back through the hole again. And just keep going until you get to the end. So when you get to the end, just pull the thread around the corner and go back through that last hole one more time. And you can see we have these little spaces here, so we're just going to weave the thread back through to fill in those spaces. So let's do that go through over and back through process on this last hole and just go around the corner and back through again. Now 
Now watch carefully as I weave the thread back through again to fill in those spaces at the bottom to complete the design. Now just take the two ends of thread and tie a double knot and dab a little bit of liquid glue on it to keep it secure. So this is the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed making this as much as I did. Feel free to let me know if y'all have any ideas on how to make my videos better or if there are any particular things you want to see more of. I would love to know what you think of my first video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.